Just after 10 to 7, now on breakfast, it's time for Web Tales, the best of the features on the BBC News magazine website. This week, we meet the aspiring filmmaker who started by taking pictures of wildlife when he was just 12 years old. Today we're up in the Cairngorms looking for the beautiful mountain hare. It has an amazing white coat at this time of year and at the moment they stick out really well against the, the brown heather. I started wildlife photography when I was 12 years old. I'm 19 now and I moved uh, from the city into the countryside and there's a huge variety of wildlife on the doorstep so I couldn't resist taking out the camera and getting all the shots of all the wildlife I could see. It's important to get close to an animal for the image. The trick with wildlife photography is being uh, persevering and just sitting and waiting for something to happen. So as soon as the hare maybe flicks its ears or starts to um, groom itself, you, you press that shutter and try and get all the um, interesting shots you can get. I recently took an expedition, a solo expedition, to Cambodia uh, to explore the forests there and I was very sad and depressed to see the extent of logging there is there. But even so, there were some incredible animals. I had some time uh, finding and filming the silvered langur, which is a beautiful primate. It has this amazing silver coat. I managed to see a clear shot through the canopy and I was able to film this, this stunning animal, it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, just sitting on this log, staring at me, wondering who on earth I was, why I was uh, pointing my camera at him all the time. And then suddenly I could hear the crunching of the uh, vegetation in front of me and you'd see a tree fall. And then I suddenly saw the back of a, a huge bull elephant move through the forest. And that was probably the most magical thing I've seen uh, in my career so far with wildlife. My favourite mammal in the UK is the red squirrel. I spend a lot of time photographing them. They all have their own characters and personalities and they're great fun watching them, skipping around, playing in the trees. They make for great photographs. They're very playful and they have great natures. It's really important that we don't forget we aren't the only uh, species on this planet. We share it with a huge variety of different animals. And it's really important that people remember this and they uh, look after the environment. And seeing all the deforestation and all this uh, stuff that's going on in the world is, is really sad. So I would love to be able to uh, create films and uh, expose what's going on just to keep people aware of what's happening in the world around them. People might think I'm a bit crazy sitting out here in the rain. Uh, but it is something I love doing and it's, it's, it's a huge part of my life, uh, watching wildlife. And that's what I, I want to be involved in uh, for the rest of my life. There we go. You can see more web tales on the BBC News website. Just go to the address there on the screen, bbc.co.uk slash magazine.